Hello everybody, how y'all doing? My name is Raffle and welcome to the channel. Today we got some information about the next title update as well as season 1. Title update 4.1 is supposed to come out tomorrow on May the 19th and it will include a couple of fixes, quality of life changes and some all-out warfare rotations. Nothing crazy to be honest about it, some small changes that are very welcome in my opinion but most importantly we actually got a release time frame for season one the developer said that up next in their update schedule is the release of season one currently set for release in early june they will be back with a full overview and update notes closer to its release when they say early june again i would have expected to get it somewhere around first with i don't know 12 15 somewhere around there however you know, the, the, the April update was supposed to be releasing on early April and it released on 20th of April or something like that. I wouldn't hold my breath for the early part of June, but at least we know that season one will release in June. So let's see what changes with update 4.1. So we will start with the specialist. Angel will no longer be able to grant armor plates through his supply bag, which in my opinion is a welcome change. I used to play only with Angel to be honest simply because in my opinion was the most overpower, overpowered especially simply because you would just drop down armor plates and, and get points and get XP and you know of course even though I was using him pretty much for every match I played I am a little sad to see him get nerfed but I think it's a good change since it was overused I think by the majority of the players. The second big change that's happening to the specialist and a very welcome one is a nerf to Boris sentry guns. Spotting via the SC-36 sentry gun now highlights spotted players via a red dot and spotted enemies are now also visible for friendlies. The SC-36 sentry gun will no longer track players behind walls and the overall damage and health for the sentry gun has been lowered as you can see here. RPM reduced from 450 to 250, star damage from 16 to 10 and damage from 10 to 7 and it goes on as you can see. So. This is a very welcome change since the sentry gun, in my opinion, was a very overpowerful gadget. Moving on to the weapons, there are some important changes here as well. Most important one, in my opinion, the impact of recoil affecting attachments has been lowered, while base weapon recoil has been improved to compensate. This means weapons without attachments now handle better. Pretty much, they're reducing the starting recoil of the weapons because I guess it was just too much. I'm a big fan of that change, to be honest. And then pretty much what they're doing in order to compensate for that change, they're going to reduce how much attachments lower the recoil. The last change that will happen with tomorrow's update is that Breakthrough 128 players will be gone from the All Out Warfare playlist. I'm pretty sure that the only reason for them to do that is that they checked the numbers and they came up with the fact that 64 players Breakthrough is a lot more popular and nobody almost plays Breakthrough to 128 players. So in order to, you know, not split the player base in two, they're gonna remove 138 players from the game, hoping that those players will migrate to the 64 version. They're also gonna do a couple of changes when it comes to their maps. So for example, maps like Discarded, Manifest, Orbiter and Kaleidoscope on 64 breakthrough players will be playing with the 128 version maps. So we're gonna be playing on the bigger version maps, not the smaller one, as we have been playing till now with the 64 players. However, maps like Hourglass, Breakaway, Renewal will continue to play on the 64 player version of the Breakthrough. So that's it pretty much, nothing crazy, nothing too important. However, a couple of small changes that I think are very welcome. Also, this is the first mention from DICE about when season one is gonna come out. A lot of people, including myself, guess I'm around soon, and it seems that that's gonna be the case. Thank you guys very much for watching the video. If you want to support the channel, please make sure to drop a like and to subscribe. I really appreciate it and it really helps me a lot. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye-bye.